Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Stipe Miocic and Alexander Volkov. Always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Bonuses and the accolades have continued to pile up for one of the best heavyweights in the world, Stipe Miocic, and rightfully so. Of course, who can forget when he wrested the belt away from Fabricio Verdum in Brazil at UFC 198? And then what he did after the fact against Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos put him on a pedestal as truly one of the best heavyweights of all time. And it should, because when you have those types of names on your resume, you will be considered one of the greatest fighters the division has ever seen. Stipe has the ability to win fights in a number of ways. Unbelievable boxer, has great footwork, but also was a Division I level wrestler right. at Cleveland State University. He fights fires pretty well, too. He's really good at that. Yes, I went to the firehouse, and it's intense as it comes. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Mia Chich is six years his senior. Volkov weighed in at 250 pounds. The reach is the same. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 34 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander Drago Volkov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Stipe Miocic. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. Ready. So the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the out. Whoa! start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Over and over he's landed his big body kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, nice elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
That's a good right hand there by Stipe. Maybe he'll attack the body here. You can certainly speak to that. He's yeah. a guy who mixes it up well on the feet. He's a guy that can do everything. And not only can he land punches up high and punches up low, but he's a master of adjusting on the fly whenever he's inside the octagon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice jab there by the heavyweight Miocic. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch from the clinch. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Gets the elbow there. Just over three minutes to go. And they separate. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Well, 25 total strikes have already landed for Alexander Volkov. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good stick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg. And one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch. Oh, like the bears on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Yeah, left hook found its target. Nice, nice right hand. Under two minutes to go. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, nice single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Volkov. Oh, nice right And hand. both fighters exchange in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, oh, oh big God. knee! Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. He's throwing hard in the pocket. Oh, he might be out. So, 100 minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Nice punch there by Volkov. Throws the right hand there. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, nice elbow. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Lands flush with the left hand. Straight right hand counter. Oh. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, round two now. Stipe Miocic. On the other side, Alexander Volkov. Ooh, what a head kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Nice punch, man. 
throwing that jab, no good. Miocic gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Big kick lands. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Unable to connect there. Nice loop and punch. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. You got to check these low leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Great punch. Well, we call on the fight stats here. These numbers unofficial, but 61 total strikes have now landed for Alexander Volkov. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. 38% thus far against Stipe Miocic. Volkov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Punch over the top. All right, single collar tie now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice job by Miocic on the feet, making some adjustments. And this is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Under two minutes to go in our second round. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Miocic. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, misses with the jab. 20 seconds to go. right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Yet again, they will clinch here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, that's the end of round number two.
let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Volkov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the... Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Volkov goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. So the number's unofficial, but strong. 101 total strikes have already landed for Alexander Volk. Well, in terms of the efficiency on the feet, landing with 36% accuracy here thus far against Stipe Miocic. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round three. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good one. Now he's going real bad. And now he lands a combination. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh! He's done! He's done! He's got him hurt here. Whoa! Back to the feet! Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Big leg kick land. Oh, single collar tie here. Great punch landed with so much power. Big leg kick land. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Volkov's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful strike. Five seconds remain in the round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, and he caught the kick. 
takedown attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Strong bottom hook here, staying busy. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Not there. Blocks the shot. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Miocic, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Miocic has got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Yeah, yeah, that's his oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He wow! He's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just out of range with that left hook. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Volkov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he's back in the clinch. Look for him to get that right hand busy. And both guys... Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So hold... Oh, big knee! Back to the feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his oh! very bad. Just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest. At two minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Steve so the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.